playing uh, to win Friday, Saturday games. Well, one there. of the things is Mount Carmel also plays up here in the girls' tournament on Friday. Yeah, they do. Friday and Saturday. They're, Saturday. Really, they're really spread thin then with the championship game well, on Friday evening. At what seven. A actually they're doing is, in the, in the girls, is the starters come out for the Maroons. The girls and the girls are starting at 2 o'clock in the afternoon so they can go see the 7 o'clock game. Maroons go with number 13, Kirk Lowry, a one guard spot, a 6'1 senior. The other guard will be Tyson Snicker, number 30, a 6'1 junior. Forwards, number 21, Jared Whipke, a 6'3 senior. And Nick Brooks, number 44, a 6'5 junior. Chris Brooks in the middle, number 42, a 6'3 senior. Three seniors, two juniors line up at 6'5", 6'3", 6'3", 6'1", and 6'1". Jim Wagner, Joe Lighty, and Carl Remking, the three officials tonight. We have to have Wagner on the first game of the season. Careful. <laughs> that comes back to bite you. Where you find That's that okay. I'll, I'll <laughs> send him the tape personally. Because he can dish it out, I can dish it right back yeah. at him. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's a good man. We haven't done anything yet. All so. right. Do you want me to do the game, or you want me, what do you want me to do? Whatever you want. I don't care. You, you want something? me to do the book. You want me to do the I'll book, do or the book. Please excuse me, because I just walked in. <laughs> That's all right. It's the first game. We can use that for an excuse for a couple, three weeks. Schnickner down to Brooks. Up for two. Quickly, Maroon show the man-to-man -man prep. His own press now switches into man to man. As Thompson brings up the ball. Inside uh, Dauphin who puts it up for two. Both teams come out on the first shot here and score. <coughs> Nickner all the way down to the baseline. Lowry over to Brooks. Looking underneath. Marshall got a little bit of height advantage on the Maroons. Lowry from three, it's going to be short. Whitkey comes up with the rebound as it really didn't hit the rim. Chris Blip. Got a show in the middle. And they're going to call that on Nick Looks Brooks. Looks like it's Nick Brooks. Chris oh. first, team first. Again, uh, Maroon showing the man-to-man -man full court press here early against Marshall. And as they try to get it in, it comes in to Edel. He brings it up against uh, Kirk Lowry. Edel on a nice screen, puts it in. 4-2 Marshall here with 6.50 to go in the first quarter. Nick Brooks nice on a move. nice move. Rolls in and out. In and out. Schnitker with a rebound. And and back puts it in. Schnitker on the rebound and put back. It's 4-4 here early in the first quarter. Both teams not showing much of first game jitterness as they no, come they down and kind look, of look uh, well prepared, don't they? Real smooth. Good sticky defense. They're going to have Thompson to get on the screen though. Outside. They're not switching off on that very well. Nick Brooks on a nice rebound quickly. The Maroons look. Nice bounce pass to Whipke, who recovers. Lowry again from outside. He's going to come up short again. <coughs> Underneath the Dolphin, who misses it. Maroons come up with three eyes. More one to watch than I do really want to name. Yeah. <laughs> Is that okay? Sure. Good. There's the first foul against Marshall. Tyler, Tyler Clay Claypool. There's first. Again. Um, Is that Hitchmell? Hitchmell, I think. Hitch That's Mal, what I'm going. 6-5 Hitchmell. It's 6-5. Now there's 6-5, six, 6-5, five, 6-1, six, five, six, one, 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 I think. In for the Maroons is Kent Tedford as Lowry takes a seat. Defense, 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 
Tyson Schnichter trying to go one-on-one, -on -one, loses it. As Edel comes up with the ball quickly down court to number 34. That's a oh, blocking foul on Nick Brooks. Nobody in the house likes it, but it's his second foul. And it could have gone any way, but Nick Brooks quickly picks up his second foul here at the 5.09 mark of the first quarter. Clay will shoot two. Union Planners Bank and Robinson offers complete banking services and is proud to bank them. Back the maroons in tonight's game. Good luck, Maroons, from Union Planners Bank and Robinson, member FDIC. Claypool will go to the line for two. For the best deal in tires, go to Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin, Falls, and Goodyear Tires. Quality tires at the right price at Marathon Tire Incorporated at 400 East Main in Robinson with complete car care center. So we have a little... I don't, I don't know what that was, was I guess. The, lots of discussion is all I know. Lighty went to the bench and uh, Coach Gillespie took that opportunity to say a word or two. Missed it. Chris Brooks for the rebound. Maroons try to set it up for a one-on-one -on -one with, with Schnickter as he drives around, goes to the middle. Nice big Drops off. it off to oh, Chris Brooks. He misses an easy one. Ripke has his shot block, comes back down with it. Brooks have had some really good looks at the basket, Dwayne. Just haven't been able to put it in the hole. Brooks for three. Chris Brooks from outside. Maroons on top, 7-6. That's a pretty good weapon from your center spot. Ido looks for a three, takes it. There's yeah. another and three answered. answer. 9-7. Nickter going down to the baseline, out to Whipke, looks for three. Nick Brooks from outside, it's good. Nick Brooks for two, inside the line. That was, we're tied at nine here at the four minute mark. That all brings the ball up. Schnickner on him, outside to Dolphin. Rebound long on the three pointer. Schnickner up quickly, down the middle. Looks for an opening, brings it back out. Over to Nick Brooks, out to brother Chris. Schnickter looking for that three. Tedford over to Brooks again. He's going to take another three, puts it in there. Chris Brooks from outside. That's two in a row for him from the three-point line as Marshall's going to call a timeout. With 3.23 here to go in the first quarter, it's the Maroons on top, 12-9. It's a short commercial or a short timeout, so we'll do short okay. commercial. <laughs> You'll be prepared for fall cleanup with Echo String Trimmers and Leaf Blowers and Steel Chainsaws and String Trimmers from Real King Supply. See Real King Supply for all your fall cleanup needs on Route 33 East of Robinson. Silk and Satin Bridal Shop is now at their new location at the west side of the square where the Vogue used to be. They are ready to serve you from 10 to 5 during the week and 10 to 2 on Saturdays after our appointments are available. That's the Silk and Satin Bridal Shop in Robinson, now located on the west side of the square. And stay tuned after this broadcast for Atlas Video Magazine. Atlas is brought to you by the people of Marathon Action Petroleum and the fine products they engineer. They invite you to visit their website at www.mapllc.com. And where is um, that other guy that does these? He said he had a meeting. Oh, right. Said he couldn't get out of it. <laughs> Didn't say it was out of town. Well, I was going to say, at all. And it turned cold, too cold to fish, so... <laughs> Outside, that's Claypool, rolls it around, comes out. J.D. Holmes came in there at the timeout along with Kurt Lowry as he tries to drive the baseline. There's going to be a foul on Marshall. Also in, into the game right now is uh, Brad Lackmeyer. That was on number 12. Lucas Thompson was first. The team second. second. Team foul. Well, I've been to only in back. Seen a seventh grade girls basketball game. <laughs> You've been busy. Yes. What time was their game there? Six. Brad Shaner's also in there as Schnickler with a basket. Schnickler over two. 14-9 Maroons as they open up a little bit of lead here with 2.45 to go. Again, Brad Shaner came in also at the timeout along with Holmes and Lowry and Lackemeyer. Out front, three-pointer comes up a little bit long. That's from uh, 
Corey Riley, and there's going to be a jump ball between Lackmeyer and uh, number 43 Hill, Hills. 43. Everybody's making wholesale changes here. Yeah, they are. Make it tough on an answer. I think both okay. teams are pretty deep. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Marshall inbounds the ball underneath the porch. The Maroons come back with Brooks and Brooks and Whipke. The starters are back in there. Ball comes way out front to Edel. Down to Rinchler. How do you pronounce that one? Rinchler, I think. Little looking inside. Inside to number 43. Oh, that's, that's pretty cool. Real quick. That's going to be Whipke's first. Third team foul on the Maroons. As Marshall will take the ball out here. 2.15 to go in the first quarter. Maroons on top, 14-9. To in the season opener for both teams. Kellen Hills in the corner to Adam. Over to Lipser and to Claypool for three. It comes up long as Kurt Lowry there to take on his man and get the rebound. Nice job by Kurt as he followed back with a shot. Maroon's out, rebounded them eight to one so far. Nick Brooks to Chris. Chris to Schnicker. Tyson. Chris Brooks, Tyson down on, underneath, brings it back out. Drive, shoots, going to be a little long. Chris Bro or Nick Brooks showing a lot of he had to patience lay off. there. That'll over to Richard. Inside to number 34, Tyler Claypool off his hands. Good, good defense there by Chris Brooks. Well, Schnitker and Lowry at 6-1 are going to be able to take a lot of people down under during the season, but Marshall matches up with 6-1 guards, apparently. These two teams match up pretty well, really. Well, I was listening to the radio coming in, and that's Mike Scheimer was talking about that, about both teams going to be pretty good all year long. Maroons haven't got some of the press that I think some people thought they would, but uh, they've got a lot of talent out there on the court. Chris Bro or Nick Brooks comes up a little bit short. We're under a minute here in the first quarter as the Maroons on top 14 to nine as Matt Dolphin picks up that foot too quick. Shoot a ball fake, but he drag his foot. Second, Maroon uh, Marshall turnover. Maroons. I don't know if they'll work for one here or if it gets there real quick. If they'll, yeah, getting a signal yeah. from one from Coach Gillespie, see if they work it unless something opens up. They kind of spread the court, go to a four corner with uh, Chris Brooks in the middle. Under 30 seconds. Lowry drives the middle. Nice dump to Chris Brooks. Good job. Kurt Lowry got the opening, used his feet, split the middle in. Uh, right to Chris Brooks for two, 16 to nine here with under 10 seconds as Edel, as Marshall looks for the last shot of the quarter. Gonna work it down, Edel's gonna go for three and comes up a little bit there. Tyson Schnicker throws the length of the court and we come to the end of the first quarter. Maroon's on top, 16 to nine. Well, the Bush Center at Crawford Memorial Hospital is offering educational opportunities in December and January, free for those delivering at CMH. The December class covers everything you need to know about breastfeeding on Wednesday, and that's Wednesday, December 5th. January classes will meet three consecutive Wednesdays beginning January 9th and cover breathing, labor and delivery, and raw baby care. All classes meet at 6.30 p.m. in the CMH BC Van Passel Room number one. Pre-register, call 618-546-1234, extension B-A-B-Y, the birth center at Crawford Memorial Hospital and Health Services, where families experience small miracles. 
Good luck to the Robinson Maroons from Kemper CPA Group. See Kemper CPA Group for your year-round tax service, accounting, and auditing. That's Kemper CPA Group in Robinson. And Weber Insurance and Realty offers complete life insurance through Cincinnati Life to cover all your personal and business needs. When it comes to personal insurance, Weber Insurance can provide you with mortgage insurance, consumer debt coverage, estate planning for family or estate taxes, and much more. Let Weber Insurance put your mind at ease with complete coverage through Cincinnati Life Insurance. See Weber Insurance and Realty on the east side of the square in Robinson. On the altar possession, the Maroons will get the ball out here. Nice job in the first quarter, was close there, and then the Maroons pulled away in the last two and a half, three minutes as <clears throat> we'll start out with Nick Brooks going to the hole. Lackmeyer got the rebound and just got it slapped away from him, and so did Nick Brooks, missed it a little bit, and the Maroons are turn it back to Marshall. That'll again working one on one with Tyson Snicker. Out to number 32, Ritzler. 33. On a block. That and is. Dauphin, his first, third team foul for Marshall. What's. What? Brad Lackmar. 6'6. Six, six. Yeah. Tyson Snicker on the drive, comes up short. Nick Brooks picks it up. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Dolphin. Nick. Dolphin that'd, again. That'll be on Dolphin on the shot. Nick Brooks will go to the line. That's a close one for Nick. And he's playing with two and has been for a long time. They'll go to the line for two. First Robinson Savings Bank is proud to be your hometown bank, serving Crawford County for over 119 years. Deal with the people you know and trust. First Robinson Savings Bank is ready to take care of your financial needs. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender, a real community bank. This second free throw is brought to you by, and by Hershey Chocolate and the Robinson plant where they manufacture heat, milk dud, cichlids, and paydays. And Whopper Candies, that's Hershey Chocolate in Robinson. And that brings Nick Brooks some luck, and he puts in two Maroons on a nice, what is that, a nine-point run, Dwayne? Wasn't it nine to it nine? Right, it was 99. Or was it 90? Something like that. Maroon defense really getting tough right now. Maroons haven't really let them get inside at all. It's all been coming from the outside for Marshall. Well, they've changed, it, changed the defense now. It's kind of a 1-3-1. One, one. Zone as a nice move there by Claypool. Split the zone and went right down the middle for two. 6.50 to go here in the first half. Maroons on top, 18 to 11. Again, Schnickter out on the sideline as we're going to have a timeout by the Maroons. It'll be a 30-second timeout. Charlie Incorporated CI Systems now serving Crawford County in the surrounding area with authorized Eula Packard laser printer service. For all your warranty and non-warranty repair, give Charlie Incorporated CI Systems a call at 618-546-5442. Located on at 1214 North Allen Street in Robinson, serving Crawford County in the surrounding area for over 24 years. Charlie Incorporated CI Systems. Well, we're not, we're caught up, huh? <clears throat> you like Casey when they all went on the floor, <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> Marshall, Marshall stays in the, in the man. Over to Lowry, J.B. Holmes. Oh, no, there's a zone, I take yeah. that back. J.B. Holmes back in there. Maroon's trying to adjust the zone. It's a 1-3-1 one, one zone. Kind of a matchup thing. Snitker got by with an extra step, I think. Lowry going to try for three this time. Ooh, just in and out. Back to Lowry. He looks underneath for Lackemeyer. Nothing there. Again, the Maroon set it back up. Snitker going to try three. It's going to be off. There's going to be Holmes on the back. I was going to say, JB got caught on the back. His first, fourth team foul. Hey, 
Maroons making wholesale substitutions a lot, giving the starters a little bit of rest on like on the timeouts, and then they're coming right back in. 5.54 to go here in the first half. Maroons on top, 18 to 11. We've kind of got it going back and forth with not too much scoring here in the third or in the second quarter. Idle's going to change that. Idle for three, and it's 18 to 14. Is that his second three? Your second three. Tedford over at a wing. Tyson Snicker out front in the corner to Lowry. Maroon's trying to get it inside, having a little problem with this matchup. 1-3-1 one, one zone. Really can't decide what, what really to run right now as they're working the perimeter. Second turnover. They get good ball pressure out of the zone. Now they've matched up very well in the zone. A lot better than really yeah. on the man to man. Idle brings the ball up down the right wing. He's guarded by Tyson Snicker. Now he's picked up by Kent Tedford. Maroons go back to the man. There's Idle. Idle. It's up that left-handed shot. Got to get a hand in his face. And after scoring five straight points here, Marshall back in at 18 to 16. Lowry going to try again for the side. Not there. Oh. Tell you what, Claypool just about tipped just it back right. in as he was fighting for that rebound as Marshall throws it away on the side. Thompson couldn't hold on to it. Maroons, I think, it's Maroon full timeout as with 4.28 to go here in the first half, Maroon's on top, 18 to 16. Any big ones? Yeah, I the see next them. time you need tires, go to Marathon Tire. They sell Bridgestone, Michelin Falls, and Goodyear tires. Quality tires at the right price. Marathon Tire Incorporated, 400 East Main and Robinson. You get the best deal on tires at Marathon Tire, your complete car care center. Thanks to Cellular One, providing us with a free phone to coordinate the production of community events. We invite you to stop in at Cellular One at 102 East Main on the north side of the square next to Judy's Cafe. Check out the variety of phones available. They have several models and calling plans to choose from at Cellular One at their new location on the north side of the square in Robinson. Well, we haven't had time to breathe since so I walked in here late, but... Uh, Really, not not a sloppy played game. I mean, no. very few turnovers and not a lot of fouls for the first game of the season, Dwayne. I think at this point, at this point, both coaches have to be pleased. In the first game. Both teams pretty mature, and you know a lot of juniors and seniors out there. Not much of you know erratic play. The Maroons have got, had to tighten, have had a little trouble with the zone. It looks like Marshall switches out of the zone, comes out of the timeout in a man to man. Chris Brooks, as he is shot's going to be blocked, and a foul's going to be called on number be 50, I believe. Hitch Mal. Hitch Mal. His first, fourth team foul. How the JV team foul turn out? Good ball game, 48-46, Robinson. Good. Chris Brooks to the line for two. That's the fifth team foul on Marshall. Chris will bring it. And he gets the second. Chris Brooks opens up the 20 to 16 lead for the Maroons. Seidel comes down the, against Schnicker. Over to Hitchmau, who's out front. To Claypool. Claypool drives in oh, there. There's a, there's a charge. going to say. Claypool slipped in there and took it. Paid the price. That's the second foul on Tyler Claypool. Sixth team foul against Marshall. Whipke just held his ground. He saw what was coming, and uh, Claypool tried to get it in the basket and couldn't get it there and was called for the charge. It's a 16 foul. Lowry quickly over to Whipke, and he's going to be fouled by Claypool. Pick, quickly picks up two fouls here, and that's his third. That's his third, that's right. And the 17 foul, we're a bonus situation now. 
The Silk and Satin Bridal Shop is ready to serve you 10 to 5 during the week and 10 to 2 on Saturdays. After our appointments are available, that's the Silk and Satin Bridal Shop, now located on the west side of the square in Robinson. Well, the Maroons without a field goal so far in the second quarter. Four for five from the free throw line. Kind of a four-minute drought. Maroons show that full-court press as Rexler comes down quickly against Brooks. Rensselaer drives, drives in there, kind of puts it up for two. Another lefty. Get Rensselaer. I think that caught him off guard because I think they were overplaying to the right hand there. Maroon still working the perimeter. It's almost a triangle in two. Isn't yeah, it? it is. I was going to say, so. it looks like one. And they change it, uh, change it on the fly. Whipkey on. Oh. Yeah. Maroons turn it over now as Whipke tried to throw out front to Schnickner and just got it a little bit too high as Tedford and Lackemeyer come in there for the Maroons. Well, if Lackemeyer has improved as much in basketball this year as he did in football during the season, he's going to give him some big minutes with a big body. Thompson on the drive and they're going to call it traveling. Good defense there by Kent Tedford. And we got a timeout by Marshall. It's That's a 30 a second. One. See what your friends and neighbors are doing in America's energy company. Fancy Moore is your guide around the world of Marathon Ashland Petroleum. Watch Atlas Video Magazine right after the broadcast of this game. So stay tuned to this channel. Mediacom Channel 12. Allowing us the privilege of broadcasting a lot of the Maroon High School games during and the others. year. And Palestine and Hudsonville and, and LTC and Oblong. Any others? No local ones. <laughs> That's all. I think we used them all, I did. <laughs> no substitution on 20-second timeouts. Was that right? Yes. Travis Linder tried to sneak in there, and uh, Eagle Eye over there, Wagner caught him and said, "You got to go sit back down till the next next dead ball." Tedford looks underneath to jump. Nice feed. As the brothers work, Lackmire on a nice rebound, but scrambles down in there and turns it over as the Maroons still on top, 20 to 18 in this low scoring second quarter 240 left to go in the half Linder bringing up the ball now for the Marshall Lions as he works it out front looking down underneath down to Riley Riley over to Thompson back to back to Linder Marshall showing a lot of good movement. Thompson comes up and fires in two over Tyson Schnicker from about eight feet, ten feet out, and it's they all tied high. this ball game up. Nice feet. Nice job there as Nick Brooks found Brad Lackemeyer on a now nice bounce bounce pass underneath the basket, and he puts it in for two, and will go to the line for. That three-point play. And the foul called on Rensler, his first eighth team foul. <clears throat> that was the first field goal by the Maroons. Took them six minutes. And that's the reason Marshall's back that's in right. at the Maroons. Maroons really struggled against that zone defense, and they really haven't been able to dig themselves out of, out of that right now. Callum Hill is in for Hitchmouth for Marshall. Lackmeyer comes up short. Marshall picks up the rebound. Quickly, Thompson down for Marshall. He brings it over to Hetzler in the corner to Linder. 
Mitchell from out on three. He comes up, misses it. Number 43, that's Hills. A nice job. In between two Maroons, picks up the rebound and puts it back in, and we're all tied again at 22. Lowry from to Brooks. There's the zone again, Tom. I was going to say, I watched that play as he pulled him down. 30. That 32. was Rensler. Rensler pulled Nick Brooks down. <laughs> Jim didn't have his whistle in. He had to wait until he got his whistle in. Then he, put, then he blew it. So. <laughs> Nick Brooks. Actually, he's being critiqued by Principal Troy Hickey, who Jim and Troy work a lot of games together, especially girls. Oh, do they? Yes, they do. When Troy was the principal over at Newton High School, he lived over at Newton. I don't know how many games Troy will get to do this year. Jim, Jim does a lot of college games also, junior college. Burns in his own. Two or three. Nice He's job. And Lowry. By Lowry. Is Lowry deflected it or Whipke? Snicked her down quickly. Makes a move. Whips it over to Lowry. He comes up short. He's had the looks. He just hasn't been able to get it in the hole. That all on top against Whipke this time. Whipke pushes it down inside to Hills and Maroon's. Almost put it, steal it away out front. Thompson, not there. Lackemeyer. Who got the foul? Hill got 43, the foul. 43, yeah. Hills. That's his first. Tenth team foul. We're shooting two. No, we're shooting two. Yep. Be sure to see Kip or CPA group for your year round tax planning strategies so that you're covered for all the new tax law changes. Good luck, Maroons, from Kemper CPA Group in Robinson. See Kemper CPA Group for all your tax preparation. Lackemeyer misses the first one. 47 seconds left to go in the first half. Maroons on top by two. Lackemeyer puts it in. 25-22 as Marshall brings the ball up. Middle. Looks back to the man. down in the corner. I bend around you. Out to Linder. Over to Thompson. Thompson drives the baseline, puts it up, can't go. Whipke has the rebounds, almost poked away, and Schnicker picks it up. Maroons look for probably the last shot here with 24, 20, 18, 17 seconds left to go. Marshall staying in the zone, wonder if they'll come out. We're about there. Yeah. Maroons pretty far out. Brooks is going to take a three. Not there. And Marshall's going to get a shot at the hoop. And it's going to come up short. And Dwayne at half. It's 25-22 Maroons. Tell you what. Why don't we go ahead and take a quick. Really. Oh. Let's see, other than, uh, is it Claypool, there, everybody else has two or less fouls. Right. Right, Go ahead. And the only person with two with uh, the Maroons is Nick Brooks, and he got both of those early. And so one on Whiskey and one on Holmes. Settle in here. Idle. Out front with Brooks on him. Nick Brooks. Long arms and Nick Brooks out front. Forced the turnover. Off the Dolphin, and the Maroons will mm -hmm. get the ball. This comes in from... Brooks, Chris, to Tyson Schnickner. Tyson bringing it down. To Chris, over to Tyson. Lowry, trying to get it inside to Nick Brooks. Can't find the place right now. Marshall In goes to that zone. The zone. Nick Brooks for two. Tried to coax a foul along with it, but didn't get the job. About a 12, 14 footer. 27-22, 7 10 to go here in the third quarter. Idle out front against Schnicker, who both of those two have really matched up well tonight. Over to Dolphin. Dolphin 
Ooh. Ooh. to Claypool. Ooh, nice, Who got that tip? Nice tip. Hitch Mal? Yeah, Hitch Mal went up high. Quickly, the Maroons down. Lowry looking for an opening. Can't find it. Out to Schnicker. Tyson over to Lowry. In the corner to Whipke. Again, the Maroons on top there with Tyson. Schnicker on top. Looking down. Out to Brooks. Nick Brooks drives. Falls down. I guess he wouldn't fall down. I think he must have been pushed down. Pitch foul with a foul. His second, first team foul. I'm not sure both of those officials were going to make the same call there. <laughs> but Wagner prevailed. 6.25 to go here in the third quarter. Maroons on top by three. In to Nick Brooks, who goes high, comes up a little long. And number Lucas Thompson, no, Idle comes out with the ball to Thompson real quick down under, and they're going to call a travel. Nice nope. defense there. I don't think he traveled. And let's see, I thought he traveled. <laughs> so. Well, as I said, both of those officials were yeah. going to make the same call a while ago. We can't even know the degree. We, and we both know we can't see, so. <laughs> Snicker over to Lowry. Back to Snicker as they're working around the top. Trying to get it inside. They're trying to split that zone up. Tyson drives and puts it in. Nice shot by Tyson Snicker. 29-24 here, 5.52 to go. Quickly, Marshall down underneath to... Uh, Hitch Mal, the turnaround, he got it. Marshall didn't waste any time, come down the sideline and went underneath to Hitch Mal. He's got down in a hurry. Beat the Maroons back. Schnicker trying to find an opening again over on the left wing. Over to Whipke. Whipke... Chris Brooks. Tyson splits it, comes up. Another one. Tyson Snicker down the lane inside the free throw line and puts it in. 31 26. Marshall out on top of the key. Claypool. The idol. Idol. Ruins in a man to man. Idol takes Chris Brooks. Comes up long and Lowry picks it up. Maroons quickly down the court. Brooks at the top of the key. Down to Nick Brooks. No block. A hitch now, but I guess he got the arm along with it. That's going to be the third foul on Hitch now. That's two quick ones here in the third quarter. Right. And he'll go to the line for two. We'd like to remind you the Real King Supply is your winter weather headquarters for Carhartt, insulated outerwear, Polar King by Key, a large selection of camouflage clothes plus northern boots by service, and lacrosse insulated boots. That's at Real King Supply on Route 33 east of Robinson. As this second free throw comes up, Maroons making some changes. Lackamire and Tedford in for the Maroons. Union Planners Bank in Robinson offers complete banking services and proud to back the Maroon in tonight's game. Good luck, Maroons, from Union Planners Bank in Robinson, member FDIC. <laughs> was that a takedown? <laughs> and I was looking at something else, huh? He was trying to draw a foul, and Lackamire just kind of leveled him and said, get out of my way. Claypool can play in there. He comes up for a three. In and out. And Maroons will get the ball as Dolphin and Lackamire fought for it. And it went off Dolphin last. That's what was going. There's a little bit of Marshall coach is talking to uh, their officials about that play when we were observed there a while ago. Snicker cuts it up. A little short. Maroon's unable to come up with the rebound. Idle comes out quickly. Trying to force the issue. Oh, oh nice quick steal. Hands. Nice steal by Nick Bro or Chris Brooks. Oh. 33-26 with 3.50 to go here in the third quarter. Maroon's on top. Got another... On a little bit tighter here yeah, in the second are. half, don't you think, Dwayne? 
Kellen Hill got the foul that time. That's his second, I believe. Third team foul. We've got a timeout, Marshall. And it's going to be a full. Oh. Did you know that when you buy a home computer system from Charlie Incorporated, CI Systems, they deliver it and spend two hours with you, setting it up and go, giving you training for the use of your new computer equipment. Charlie Incorporated, CI Systems offers three-year all parts and labor warranty on their computers and monitors. For more information or an estimate on your, home your new home computer system, stop by Charlie Incorporated, CI Systems at 1214 North Allen Street, or in Robinson, or give them a call at 618-546-5442. That's Charlie Incorporated, CI Systems. The Silk and Satin Bridal Shop is now at their new location at the west side of the square where the Vogue used to be. They're ready to serve you from 10 to 5 during the week and 10 to 2 on Saturdays. After hours appointments are available. That's the Silk and Satin Bridal Shop in Robinson now located on the west side of the square. 33-26 here with 3.44 to go. Um, Maroons have pulled out a little bit on the strength. Tyson Snickers kind of split that split that uh, zone up and got some pretty nice jump shots off. And that's what's kind of opened things up a little bit for the Maroons. Marshall's only two baskets come from Hitchmile, and he's uh, on the bench with foul trouble right now. To Brooks on the out of bounds play. Short. Short. Nick, and La Nick Brooks and Kurt Lowry have been the two that really struggled from the field tonight. But that won't happen very often. Because they're both good shooters. Marshall again against the man-to-man -man defense by the Maroons. Out to Thompson. Over to Idle. Idle looking underneath. They get it underneath to uh, Hills. And it's going to be... Uh, my eye, I think. <coughs> It is. First foul on Brad Lackamire. First maroon foul in the second hand. And Hills will go to the line for two. For quality tires at the right price, go to Marathon Tire. Marathon Tire has Bridgestone, Michelin, Falls, and Goodyear Tires. See Marathon Tire Incorporated at 400 East Main in Robinson, where you'll get the best deal in tires. Marathon Tires, your complete car care center. This uh, Hills boy at the line is another escapee from Martinsville a year ago. Okay. 33-27 here. Maroons on top. Hills looks for the second and rolls it around and in. 33-28. 3.13 to go in the third quarter as Marshall puts on a man-to-man pre -man press. Chris Brooks bringing up the ball for the Maroons. Chris splits it. Goes right down the middle. Down to Whipke. Puts it in. Got the basket. They'll open it up. Chris Brooks drove right down the middle. Whipke and dished off the Whipke for two. I was afraid Chris Brooks was going to draw the foul there. Rude. A little bit of pressure here on the man-to-man. -man. They've been in that most of the evening. Thompson down low to... Uh, Hills, Hills, all tied up. Maroons really collapsed on Hill, and on the alternate possession will get the ball. Lowry, Snicker, and uh, Chris Brooks were in there, weren't they, Dwayne? Yeah. All three were covering it. Snicker drives hard to the middle, goes right down the middle. Ooh, that was a late foul. Oh, yes, it was. That was a real late foul. 34, that's the uh, fourth foul on Tyler Claypool. Nice move by Tyson. Tyson's really played aggressive out there at the top of the key. He's kind of tried to split the zone up and do some things and create, and he's done a good job. Good luck to the Robinson Maroons from Kemper CPA Group. See Kemper CPA Group for your year-round tax service, accounting, and audio. It's Kemper CPA Group in Robinson. 2.24, Maroons on top by 8. 36.28, Tyson Snicker, the second of a two-shot foul. Puts it in. <laughs> Rensler back in for Claypool. With Hitchmel out with foul trouble, the Maroons, you've seen the Maroons kind of split the middle and try to force the issue down, down low here in the third quarter. 
Drinksler. Over to Dauphin. To Thompson. To Richler. He drives. Kind of came out of there to Hills. And Hills is off. Take it. And he puts it in 37 30. Hills is giving him some good time off the bench. Schnickter again. Nice shot by Tyson, just couldn't get it to go. That shot's been there here in the third quarter. The Maroons have let him drive the middle, and he needs to keep taking it. Ball gets away from Mar Oh, Nice play there by Rensler as he hustled off to get it as it slipped off his hands. Thompson over to Dolphin. <laughs> Dolphin to Idle. Marshall slowing it down here. Fires inside to Hills. And the Maroons come up with it. Tyson Snickner, number 30. The playmaker for the Maroons. Fires it in the corner to Whipke. Nice screen there by Brooks. To Lowry. Lowry drives the baseline, puts it up, and rolls it off. Got his own rebound. rebound. Throws it up there and puts it in. Kurt Lowry for two. As we're inside a minute, and 30, there's 30 seconds to go here in the uh, third quarter as it's kind of really whipped by in a hurry. There hasn't been much stoppage in play. Marshall down by nine. Maroons putting on a good show on the defensive end, only allowing Marshall 30 points so far here in almost three quarters of play. Out front is Thompson, rims it. Gets rebound by Het Rensler. He got his own rebound. rebound. They're going to call a foul on Tyson Snicker. Rensler shot it over the top and then ran around. <laughs> Almost got it out and of mid -air. You can't get your own pass, yeah, can you? No, but it's pretty close. <laughs> and he's going to be fouled by Tyson with just 10 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. First, first foul on Schnitker. Lackemeyer and J.B. Holmes in for the Maroons. Oh. Maroons had that pretty well defense and it just kind of broke loose and then they broke underneath the basket. Holmes with a foul. So the second, it, 13 it JB. Eight seconds now as the Maroons try to... Another Marshall timeout. As they struggle to... Is it going to be a full? Yes, it, it is. It is a full. You'll be prepared for fall cleanup with echo string trimmers and leaf blowers and steel chainsaws and string trimmers from Rural King Supply. See Rural King Supply for all your fall cleanup needs on Route 33 East of Robinson. See what your friends and neighbors are doing in America's newest energy company. Watch Atlas Video Magazine about the world of Mar Marathon Ashland Petroleum. We'll be seeing you right after the broadcast of this game, so stay tuned to this channel. And First Robinson Savings Bank is proud to be your hometown bank, serving Crawford County for over 119 years. Deal with the people you know and trust. First Robinson Savings Bank, ready to take care of all your financial needs. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender, the real community bank. Rensler will inbound it for the Lions. Eight seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Maroons on top by nine, 39-30. Look underneath. Come back out the top to Thompson. Thompson. Got it off. Nice shot. Thompson with a nice one. I think just two. Chris Brooks, a long one. Comes up a little bit short, and that was a two. And it's 39-32 here at the end of the third quarter. The Maroons on top. As this Wayne, this has kind of developed into a low-scoring affair as both teams are playing really good defense. Uh, Marshall doing a lot of switching on their defense between man-to-man -man and zone and the Maroons have basically stayed in that man-to-man -man the whole way. Thrown in a little bit of press here and there, but uh, we're going to start here in the fourth quarter, 39-32, Maroons on top. If you're looking for prompt, friendly service for your computers or printers, call Charlie Incorporated CI Systems. Their professional service staff can help you find the problem and fix it without any hassle. 
Just call them at 546-5442 or stop in at 1214 North Allen Street in Robinson. Charlie Incorporated servicing all your computer needs and all your computer brands. Give them a call again. It's 546-5442. That's Charlie Incorporated CI Systems in Robinson. Eight minutes to go. Well, it's a low-scoring game, but the room's got three players and double figures. So they spread it around. Well... Lowry, Snitker, Brooks, Brooks, and Lackamire for the Maroons. Thompson, Idle. Except for Hills, it's the starters for Marshall, I believe. 32 is Rensler, isn't it? Yeah, Rensler's in there for uh, Hitchmau, who's in, got three fouls on him, I believe. Yeah. You'll probably see him come off the bench here pretty soon. And Claypool's on the bench, too. Idle over to Thompson. Short. Comes up short on the three. We have a jump ball underneath the basket. Maroons will get it on the possession. They kind of mopped the floor up there a little bit from the sweat. 7.40 to go in the ball game. Maroons on top by seven. For the Mar Maroons with that seven-point lead to be a little bit patient. Nif Nick Brooks. <laughs> Nick Brooks showing that quick first step and then that strong move to the hoop as he puts it up left-handed and scores for two. 41-32 Maroons on top by nine. Nick Brooks again bats it away on the defensive end. Quickly Lowry brings it up for the Maroons. Over to Chris Brooks. And he waits for Tyson Snicker to weave his way through and come back out front. Nice defensive play there by Kent Ritzler. Ritzler's kind of, I think he's, him and Hills really look good off the bench. <coughs> Don't have a lot of height, but they've got a lot of quickness and quick hands and their strong upper body. Here comes Hitchmau and, uh, and Claypool. Claypool. So they have their starters back now for the final seven minutes. Or at least that's the plan. Nick Brooks on a nice fake. Puts it up. Rolls it off. Good, good move by Nick Brooks. Just couldn't get the ball to fall. Idle out front. Looking for Hitch Mount. It'll be inside. Who's the foul going to be on? Is it going to be Lackamire or Chris Brooks? Chris Brooks, I think. Matt Dolphin. 32. That'll be the Maroons' fourth team foul. First town, or first foul on Chris Brooks. Lowry and Lackamire out. Coach Gillespie doing lots of experimenting, lots of substitutes. Look, looking for... Combinations. Are they going to call that tighter this year? I don't know. That's about three tonight. I was going to say. That's and they're it. right at the three foot. I mean, they're there, so. Yeah. It's eighth turnover for Marshall in the second half. I had Robinson for men. Chris Brooks, he's going to stay out there and let him run the clock. Tedford. Yep. When do they start counting, though? <laughs> Whipke goes to the hole. Nice left-handed, not there. Nice job by Kent Tedford. Yeah, yeah. I agree. If Brooks got the rebound and went to the basket, and they set up and took the charge. That's the third foul on Nick Brooks. Fifth team foul against Robinson. That's a pretty good call there, because he, the way he came charging in there, 5.49 to go here in the ball game. Maroons on top by nine, 41-32. Coach Gillespie is lobbying for the next call. Virginia <laughs> <laughs> Wagner as he went by. Uh, Corey Riley over to Claypool. Oh, long on. Tries to go over the top of Tyson Snicker. That's not going to happen very often. Tyson quickly. 
Tyson splits it, puts it out to Whitkey on a nice drive, goes underneath. Nick Could Brooks. Can't buy a basket. Dolphin with the rebound. Root's got good ball movement. Just haven't been really to be, and able to put it in the hole consistently yet tonight. Oh, nice move. Nice move by Claypool as Whipke went out to get him and he waited until Whipke came right at him and then just ducked under and put it, went to the hole. 41-34, seven points, Maroon lead. First Four. partial basket in the fourth quarter and it took three minutes. 4.50. Maroon's just looking for a good, good shot. It's Tedford down the corner. Went after his own rebound and forced the jump ball with a pitch mile. The possession marshal. As we're going to have a timeout on the court. Maroon timeout. See if we've got a full or a full timeout. Full timeout. For the best deal in tires, go to Marathon Tire for Bridgestone, Michelin, Falls, and Goodyear Tires. Quality tires at the right price. And Marathon Tire Incorporated at 400 East Main in Robinson, your complete car care center. I've been waiting for this one. It turned cold this morning, so we got winter weather headquarters for Real King Supply. Yeah. Northern Car Hard, insulated outerwear, Polar King by Key, a large selection of camouflage clothes, plus Northerner boots by service and lacrosse insulated boots. That's Royal King Supply at Route 33, East Robinson. I didn't think it was quite cold enough to wear my car hearts this morning, but... <laughs> Stay tuned after this broadcast for Atlas Video Magazine. Atlas is brought to you by the people of Marathon Ice and Petroleum and the fine products of the engineer. They invite you to visit their website at www.maplc.com. Did you get that right? I think. Okay. Hey, we're not doing too bad. No, we're doing pretty good shape now. I was kind of worried there for a while. It's those ones that Ron was writing behind us and putting down here and making me do on the fly. So, <coughs> well, halftime he was out on the telephone calling. So. I thought that More was sponsors. Him. I thought that was him working the crowd. So, okay, Idle bring the ball up here as Marshall's got it down to seven with 4:15 to go in the ball game. Claypool to Idle. Idle looking underneath uh, Tyson Snicker. Tried to go over the top of him again. <laughs> and those arms just reached up there and said, oh, I'm taking this away from you. Chris Brooks. Ooh, nice play. They had the right idea. Chris went up. Nobody and uh, brought in Whipke from the wing, but couldn't quite get it to him. And the Dolphin got a hand on it. Nick will inbound the ball underneath the overhang to Chris Brooks. Oh, oh. And threw it away. Brooks. Lowry trying to place him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Little Lucas Thompson as he kind of does a scoop. And the Maroons are going to call a timeout with 3.41 to go. Look for a 30-second timeout here by the Maroons. 41-36, it's going to be another full timeout for the Maroons. As Marshall here has gone on a, like a four or six point run and uh, four point run and cut it down to five, applied some defense. Maroons have really not had a rhythm here in the, in the fourth quarter. I don't know if have they scored. They scored one. Nick Brooks got, the, got one basket. And that's what they're, you know, the rhythm's not there in the offense. They look, they're getting some good looks, but they just haven't been able to put the ball in. Been a lot of up and down the floor, yeah. but not a lot of scoring in the fourth quarter. with only six points total. And I think the Maroons just turned it over for the first time here in the second half as uh, they played very good uh, fundamental basketball here and good defense. Both teams, it's a low-scoring affair, 41-36, as we... Hitch it up and ready to go here with 341 in this packed gymnasium at Robinson High School for think, the opening of the basketball season. I think both teams have one timeout apiece in case that enters into it. Lowry bringing up the ball. 
Looks a little quick in the Brooks. Lowry oh, pushed off, got away with it. He's counting. He's, He's counting. counting. Well, if he hadn't got the count, they were going to get the foul on Lackamire because he stepped out with the forearm to take it. Try to set a screen. It's another five-second count on the Maroons. That's two or three, and I think Marshall's had two or three. And Marshall got a chance to cut into that lead even further. 41-36. Oh, nice tight steal by Tyson Snicker. Goes all the way for two. Tyson Stickner's defense is done. Uh-oh, Tyson hurt his leg. Uh-oh. He's got a cramp. Lackamire with the rebound. Officials timeout. Tyson's up. But I think he just got a cramp, I think. He was, he was holding his calf when he went down. It's Leanne, Pr Leanne Price goes out there. They're going to just take him off to the side. Maroons will make a substitution here. Looks like that calf muscle was yeah, that's pretty all well knotted up. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks... And that's what it is, because he's off to the side. He's pushing hard against the... Trying to get it to loosen up. As hot as it is in here, I can see where that can happen. Cam Tedford checks in for him. Nice defensive play. Nice pass down to Lowry. Lowry's going to the hole. Puts it. No! Tedford on the rebound. Maroons bring it back out. Broke the press, but couldn't put it away. But they'll bring it back out and work some time off the clock. Maroons on top by seven. Marshall's got a couple of fouls to give. Nick Brooks trying to create something to Lowry. Lowry. Yeah. He put his shoulder into him. There was a lot of good acting. There wasn't much yeah. so the guy there, but that just happened. Thompson, was Thompson took the charge. He, he got there a little late, I thought, but he's, there was definitely contact, and Lowry did drop the shoulder. Tyson Snicker back in. He snuck all the way around the floor and came in for Tedford. 2.30 to go. Maroons on top by seven. Both teams turned the ball over here the last couple of times. Ooh, Out to Thompson. He had half his feet, didn't he? Yes. Nick. Uh, Chris Brooks on a big rebound. Chris Brooks. The Chris Brooks can handle the ball, and he's got some speed. He's going to met some of those big men that we're going to go up against later in the season. Nick Brooks. Two oh seven to go. Foul on number thirty three for the Marshall Lions, Matt Dauphin. Just a good hard foul on yeah. the Lions part. Everybody's pretty intense out there with two oh seven to go. You better get used to that because he's gonna see a lot of them this year, I think. Nick Brooks for one. That's how you make them regret it. You stand up there and get your point off. Yeah. Give what they take what they give to you. Misses the second one. Play through with a rebound. Idle bring them up. Idle looking for that three. Pops it out to Claypool. Claypool is going to take a long three. Comes up for short. Chris Brooks with a lot of patience. Going to bring the ball up. Throws it to Tyson Snicker. We're under two minutes. Maroons on top by eight. 44-36. Tyson Snicker on a nice screen down the middle. What are they going to call it? Blocking foul on Dolphin. Uh, He's down again. It's... I think this one's higher. I think this is more in the, up in the back, you know, in the thumb. It, no, he's still grabbing his, working his shin. It's still a cramp. Leanne's trying to point yeah. his toes back and loosen it up. I thought it was higher this time. It was more in his thigh area, but... I thought he reached around once for the small of his back. 
maybe that's just when he went down. But <clears throat> that and the uh, some of the outside shooting by Marshall is the first indication it's the first game of the season. Kind of like they haven't right. quite got their legs under him yet. Kyle Hardeman's going to come in here to shoot the free throws. And We'll probably bring Tedford in there. Forty-four thirty-six Maroons. One thirty-five to go here in the fourth quarter. As Kyle Hardeman, as Tyson Snicker having some problems with his calf muscles and some cramps. As Kyle can't put it in, and he'll go to the line for his second one. little confusion I'm not there. sure what that's all about I think they wonder why he was shooting and then they realized that the foul was on tight I mean Hardeman bounces it in now the Maroons will bring in Tedford on defense Kyle Hardeman one out of two from the line for Tyson Snicker Maroons open up a nine-point lead all they need to do right now is play some good that's tight right. defense that's forward enough just Run the clock. Take away those three-pointers. And that's what Marshall's trying to do on a runner. Tedford on the rebound. Tedford's done a really good job. He's so strong, and he can get up in the air. He's done a good job on some rebounds. Foul on number, on number 12 for Marshall. That's Lucas Thompson, as this will be the, the uh, path to the free throw line. Maroons hitting their can hit the free throws down here the stretch can put this away away for the first victory of the year as they get ready for the capital classic down at the lawrenceville bridgeport yes. hmm. who was that on tedford okay tedford and it'll be one and one which is not what you want to see put marshall at the line here late in the ball game no time run off the clock here in that exchange. Marshall doesn't know who's supposed to shoot. Looks like it's going to be Thompson. His first trip to the line tonight. 118 to go here in the ball game. Thompson puts it in. 45-37 as Tyson tries again. <laughs> He used to get those so bad. <laughs> you know exactly what it is. At the wrong you, time. Not you can't run away from them. Oh, <laughs> they, just, they keep you following you. You can't drag your legs because they hurt so bad. Thompson for the second one. It's good. 45-38, 118. Maroons into, into Schnichter. Is he? Ooh, Maroons get a break. Yeah, they do. Maroons tried to spread the floor. They say, they don't call that. They're not going to call anything. As uh, Thompson was riding Lowry all the way down the court, Maroons had, Maroons had a hard time getting the ball in. He'll go to the line for a one and one. Kirk Lowry. Kurt's got, what, two points tonight? Yeah. He's going to come up short. Nice rebound by Nick Brooks, and he's going to be fouled by number 32. That's Kent Richler. Yes, he'll go to the line for a one-and-one one as the Maroons haven't been able to put that one-and-one one in there. I think Tyson needs just to set at this point because he's hurt. To view a complete listing of all Crawford County School sporting events, log on to CrawfordCountyClassified.com and click on the sports button. That's CrawfordCountyClassifieds.com. There we go. Nick Brooks buries it. 46-38, 107 to go in the ball game. There's only three for eight. 
from the lines this quarter. Trying to make it a three possession game and he does, 47-38. Quickly, Idle comes down for the Lions, shoots it over to Claypool. Long, long little three by Thompson. He put that one up, 32, wasn't yeah. it? Rinsler on the rebound, 22. <laughs> All the time out after Chris basketball. Brooks deep down to Burt Lowry to Brooks to Lowry to Nick Brooks who goes to the hole and puts it in. Nick Brooks and the Maroons on that one's probably going to put it away, Dwayne. It's yeah. going to think they're going to call it. Yeah, it was good. 49 40, 44 seconds to go. Nick Brooks at the line for one as the Maroons have done a good job down here in the last two minutes, have missed the one and one, and but they, they can work on that as they go through the season. This is kind of the hack and hammer time, the last two minutes, and go to the free throw line, but they've taken away that three-point shot from Marshall. Done a real good job as Whipke picks off the pass. And with 30 seconds to go, the Maroons bring the ball up, Chris Brooks. Dribbling around all over the court. We'll just let him dribble. Nobody's going to take him, so he'll take it out there. Over to Lowry. Lowry in the corner, drives the baseline. Puts it up, and he's hammered by number 34, Tyler Claypool. And that's going to be five on Claypool, and the tenth foul, so Lowry will shoot a pair. Claypool's going to take a seat with only six points. as the Maroons are putting this away at the free throw line here late in the fourth quarter. 50 to 40, 16.2 seconds left to go as Kirk Lowry will go to the, sh go to the stride for two. First one good. This portion of the broadcast and Kurt Lowry's second free throw was brought to you by Hershey Chocolate in the Robinson plant where they manufacture heat, milk duds, cichlid, paydays, and Whopper candies. That's Hershey Chocolate in Robinson. We'll read that every time if they're going to hit it like that. 52-40, under 10 seconds to go. Long, long three by Lucas Thompson. As the Maroons get the ball in, and Chris Brooks is fouled by Matt Dolphin. Lucas Thompson shot one from the lower bleachers, and it's 52-43 with 5.9 seconds to go here in the ball game. As Chris goes to the line for the two, and the Maroons step back. And he puts it away. Chris Brooks. His second, it's good. 54-43. As Marshall brings it up, Idle's going to take a long three. It's going to be short, and that's going to be the ball game as the Maroons start out the season with a victory over the Marshall Lions. 54-43 as Dwayne gets the book here. We'll read a few spots and go over some future broadcasts. That's the Silk and Satin Bridal Shop.